Hello, young leaders of Renaissance Foundation. I have one message for you. Never grow up. You spoke a bit about Renaissance Foundation. Yeah. Um, a big theme to, for us is overcoming challenges. Something um, that I noticed at the start of the film that relates to our young, yeah. young people and young hospital patients is um, all, all of our young people is just addressing um, feeling like something's out of your control and yeah. I feel like the lead character especially near the start you could see she, there's a lot of anxiety and um, just kind of just feeling like you're kept in a box but you can't really yeah, make your own decisions yeah and I think that's really powerful and that really relates to young people why did um, why did you choose to say please this in the film this is part of everyone's life um, I mean, I think that when any, if you talk to anybody, they have, there's a sense that when you're a kid, you know, your whole world is just a world that you're, that is the, the world that, of your school or the world of your family. And it's really kind of small. And even if you even and this is even if you live in a big city, it's just the way the way anyone grows up, and um, and you know there's a lot of things that you're just told this is how this is the way it is, but maybe you don't feel that way. And um, I think film is a way for people to share these kinds of feelings. Um, I mean, I think I was, when I was growing up, I, I don't think I talked. Like, I don't have a memory of even talking. And I think um, that really uh, informed how quiet the film is in the beginning. Actually, <laughs> 一个舞王宫的公主。Well, actually, that village, it's like a combination of different places. So it's not just one village. It's like the village is like two hours away from my house. The cave is like next to my house. This kind of thing. So we pieced it together. It's like a collage, right? Um, I think... You know, the, the why a fishing village? Because Hong Kong used to be a fishing village 200 years ago, and now it's this big city. Um, but if you go to those fishing village spaces today, you'll realize that the, these people's way of life, their culture, um, you know, there aren't many fishermen left. And so uh, the film is about Hong Kong, and we feel that, like, the film is about Hong Kong's disappearance, so it's the fishing village is a metaphor for Hong Kong and all the different kind of um, threats to the identity of Hong Kong uh, now, whether it's politically, economically, or culturally, vis-a-vis -vis mainland China. Yeah. What are you looking at? You. I'm, I'm really glad you mentioned identity yeah. there because being um, with our young leaders, yeah. uh, a lot of them, some are from born in other countries and they mm. come to the to, to London and it's where they spend most of their life. So they yeah. feel London, they're British, or like myself, born here, but they've got family members from another country. So there inadvertently seems to be always a constant um, search to find identity 
in there. So in this city, and I feel like you've um, really portrayed that in the film. Well, that's what the white girl means because she lived, I mean, she's Chinese, but her skin's very pale. And so uh, the villagers call her, oh, she, you know, she, they think she's a ghost, right? But it's like, why does skin color matter? It's absurd. And you see this, you know, in so many different cultures where people are being persecuted for the color of their skin, for the way they look, and it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter. What matters is, in, is inside. And, um, and it also reflects kind of how I feel about living in Hong Kong. Um, and not quite feeling like I belong. Yeah. Even though I'm not white. But like I grew up between two cultures also. Yeah. I, know, I saw that you spent some, um, you spent quite a bit of time studying in the uh, United States. So I imagine yeah. that being quite um, just a paradigm like shift, the shift of cultures. And you're like, that makes you kind of question yourself. How was that kind of? Um, I think to me, the moment you step out of your world, you get a kind of distance. And so, you know, in the film, the the white girl goes up to the ruins and she's seeing her village for the first time in a different way from a different angle inside the camera obscura. So to me, it's like I see myself or I see where I come from with much more objectivity or veracity than if I were actually living there. And I think um, all those years I spent abroad and not at home gave me, um, one, made me appreciate it more, and two, um, made me see it, made me think more about what it meant to my identity. And I think that that's universal. This is the last one in Hong Kong. 